Hello everyone, uh, we're continuing our 2020 paper, this is question 3, and yeah, we got 3.1, it says prove that uh, this little expression over here is, con is a convergent geometric series, and show all your calculations, okay, so let's just break this down a little bit, uh, converge, that means uh, it goes to a single point, or it has a limit, and geometric series are in the form of a r to the n so that would be uh, a number series you know tn equals a r to the to the n so as you can see it is that so that's what they're giving you and to prove that a series uh, converges we have to use our test for conversion that says that our R value has to be within the range of minus one and one. And that's all we have to do. If we can prove this, we get lovely three marks. So let's do that. So how do we get the value of R? So to get R, um, R is just simply a term divided by the previous term before it. So, for example, that would be T2 divided by T1, which is also T3 divided by T2. You know, that's, that's all that it is. Um, so, I guess we can take T2 divided by T1. So, to get to T2, we'll say that uh, T2 is equal to uh, 4 multiplied by 3 uh, to the power of 2 minus, so this k value is now our, or our n value, our usual n value. So it's 2 minus 2, that's 0. So it's 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of 0, which equals to, remember, anything to the power of 0 is 1, so this is just 4. And then we need our t1 value as well. So it is 4 times 3 to the 2 minus k, but k is now 1, so it's 1. So we have 4 times 3 to the 1, which is 3, and 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, therefore, our r value, we'll just write it over here, is t2, which is 4 divided by t1 which is 12 which is 4 over 3 which can simplify to 1 over 3 All right, 4 over 12 simplifies to 1 over 3 and so we can see that our r value is then between the range of minus 1 and 1 therefore therefore we can write uh, this expression is a convergent geometric series cool okay then we are at 3.2 so we have if and uh, we have the same expression that we just had is equal to 2 over 9 determine the value of p so p is our starting value for when we count when we start our series and it goes from it starts at p and then it goes to p plus 1 p plus 2 all the way to infinity and to show that this expression equals to 2 over 9 we need to normally like we would have to solve our series or our sum that goes to infinity and if you check your formula sheet you would have um, the formula of the sum you know as it goes to infinity is equal to a divided by 1 minus r Okay, so our a value, that's our first term, and r is the same as before, we have it's one term divided by the previous term, or t2 divided by t1. Okay, we need to determine a, we can determine a by substituting our first um, number into our expression, which in this case is p, so therefore it will be a equals to 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 minus 
So normally we put one here, but you can see since it starts at k at p, k equals p, we will replace k with p. So this is equal to p, and that's how that's a. And of course you can see that there is a p there, so we will use this to determine our value of p. R R is the same as before, which is one over three. How do you get one over three? We got it the same way as in question 3.1 as you can see it's the same expression but just starting at a different point and then that's all we need so this um is this total sum is equal to 2 over 9 so then we can solve this little thing here so it's 2 divided by 9 is equal to our a which is 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 minus p all divided by 1 minus r which is 1 over 3 over 3rd okay and now we just have a lot of numbers and the letter p so we can solve for p uh, let me just write it over here okay so let's just do this uh, one step at a time so we know what we're doing 2 divided by 9 and then I uh, can't do much over here for now, so we can leave this over one one minus a third is two thirds, two over three. Uh, we can then cross multiply, but uh, we want we want this to be the subject of the formula, so this becomes four point three times three, not point to the two minus p equals two. Uh, let's just do this a little slowly can, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So this becomes 2 multiplied by 2 over 3, all divided by 9. Okay, then we can simplify. So it becomes 4 multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3, 2 minus p equals 2. Uh, so this becomes 2 multiplied by 2, which is 4. And then this 3 can go down, so it becomes over 27. And then we divide both sides by 4, because we want to get rid of... We want this, we want P by itself. So we all, we're doing all this so we can get uh, make P the subject of the formula. So it becomes 3 to the 2 minus P equals 2 and the 4's cancel so we have 1 over 27 which is a really good sign because we can convert this to uh, let me just do it like this 27 to the minus 1 so our rules of exponents right there and we know that 27 is 3 cubed so this becomes uh, 3 to the power of 3 uh, and then this is multiplied by our exponent of minus 1, which is equal to 3 to the minus 3. So the reason we converted this to 3 to 3 is because we have a base of 3 on this side, and we kind of want our bases to be equal, because when our bases are equal, we can make it, we know that our exponents are equal. So it becomes 2 minus p equals 2 minus 3, and then we solve for p. Uh, we can take p over so it becomes positive take the three over it becomes positive so it's two plus three uh equals two five and there we go that is your final answer p is equal to five um how your marks are allocated here is you'll get a mark for a uh, defining your first term You'll get a mark for substituting A and R in, and S into your formula. And then a mark for simplifying. And of course a mark for seeing that 27 is 3 cubed. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. It's a quick video, hopefully. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.